Hello, Dr. Reed. Um, it's me, Kristen, and this is my friend, Ashley. Hi. Um, Ashley, have you ever played a brass instrument before? No, I haven't played any instruments. No instrument. Yeah. Um, all right. So what we're going to do today is I'm basically going to teach you the basics of playing a French horn, but not playing the instrument, but just posture, um, hand position on the horn. Uh, we're going to be playing on the mouthpiece today, and we're also going to do some breathing exercises, since that's like the most important thing with playing a brass instrument. All right. So uh, the first thing we're actually going to do is posture. So when you're sitting in a chair and you're about to play, you actually want to sit in the chair to where you're able to stand immediately. So like if your legs are crossed and everything and the teacher asks you to stand, you have to like fumble and like pick yourself up, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, so we just want to get you in a good plank position. So we want both feet flat on the ground. Uh, you want your back to actually come off the chair, like just scoot up a little bit. And you, and you actually want to be in a place in your seat to where you can just stand up easily. All right. All right, stand. All right, good. <laughs> Do you feel comfortable in your seat too? Yeah. All right, so now uh, we're going to move on to playing on the mouthpiece. Um, right now, I just want to, I guess, see how you do with buzzing your lips. Oh, so when you play on a mouthpiece, um, it's not just like blowing air through the instrument, you're actually buzzing your lips at the same time. And it's not like just flapping your lips, it's like in a firm position. You're, you're not really going to want to smile, but like a, a neutral position. And you just want to... It's funny, right? <laughs> That's weird. Do you want to try it? <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. I can't get it ever. <laughs> Struggle. <laughs> Just buzz them. <laughs> you want to start with like. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's really funny, it's silly. <laughs> it's basically like that. And you just want to create a tighter embouchure. And embouchure basically meaning the way your jaw is, you just want to create a fixed, I guess, position. So instead of just like them flapping everywhere, just. <laughs> Go and try it again. Yes, that, that was good, that first one. How did I freaking do that? <laughs> no, that was good though, it was good. Faster, faster. Yeah. Okay. The okay. most important thing with the brass instrument is just air. Um, so I guess actually before the mouthpiece, we can get uh, some breathing exercises out of the way, since this instrument requires a lot of air. Like I get short of breath even when I'm playing this instrument. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna do some breathing exercises. Um, we're basically going to inhale four and exhale four, and then we're going to keep going on from there. So, uh, do you know the correct way to breathe? Like, isn't it in for four, hold for four? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. That might be deep breathing. That's also another thing. With brass instruments, you actually don't want to create any tension um, in the throat or anywhere. So, uh, the important thing is when you're doing breathing exercises or breathing before a piece, you actually don't want to stop the airflow. Like you just want to constantly keep it moving. So if you go like, like go ahead and try that really quick. Do you feel the tension kind of in yeah. there? That's one thing that we don't want to do. And what I meant by like the correct way of breathing, like do you know how you breathe? Like what happens, what moves first in your oh, no, body, you know? All right, so when we're breathing, I want you to start at your stomach, and you're basically gonna wanna expand your stomach as big as possible, and you want the air to go all the way down here. You don't wanna chest breathe and go like, you like you wanna start all the way down, and then you want this to rise, and then you want your chest to rise, and that's how you know you're full of air. So like, basically from the bottom to the top. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do an example, so. Do you see how everything rise yeah. one at a time? All right, so we're going to do that for you really quick. Sorry, my computer turned off. Let's see. 
All right, all right. So we're gonna breathe in for and out for it and no stopping, because that's what it creates. <laughs> tension. Oh um, tension is bad. Yeah. Yes. Tension is bad. Alright. Okay. Alright. Breathe in. Ready, set, go. How do you feel? Good. Good? Alright. So this time I actually want you to do it, but I want you to suck in as much air as you can. And then after we do that, push it out as fast as you can. Like, I basically want to hear you. Okay. Because the brass instrument takes a lot of air, and you're going to need a lot of air. Okay. All right, you ready? All right. Ready, set, go. lesson is supposed to it's meant to be fun okay all right so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna breathe in as much as you can on two counts and then we're gonna try to breathe out for six push all of it out mm -hmm. for six counts okay <clears throat> all right two counts and then six okay. okay are you ready all right ready set go Good? <laughs> How do you feel? Like lightheaded. Yes. For real. <laughs> that's, <laughs> lightheaded. that's the feeling. Uh, we actually have this thing. It's a tube with another tube on top, like a skinny tube. And it's actually our thing for breathing in the class. Um, I forgot it today, but basically what he wants us to do is we breathe in and blow out as fast as we can. And there's like a ball that goes into the top. Oh. Uh-huh. All right, so I'm back and I got the breathing tube and I also cleaned the piece because I actually want Ashley to try it. I didn't have my sister try this last time and I feel like it is a really good exercise because like Ashley said, um, you were kind of lightheaded, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with this, you're actually going to breathe in and out for three. And we're going to try that first, but you might just have to do faster because I know you're not going to be used to this. But the point of this is you basically want the ball to rise to the top and you want to keep it there with a constant flow of air. All right, are you ready to try it? Yes, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, are you ready? You feel good? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, you can go ahead. So just like breathe out first or breathe in first? Uh, just breathe in so like, oh, also you want to kind of clench your teeth right here on the tube. And you basically just want to get a good breath and go like. <sighs> now that I think about it, three might be too much. So basically just breathe in fast, blow air fast. Okay. And then you just want to keep the ball on top. Okay, go ahead and try it. It's hard, right? Jeez. So t t take a bigger breath. Fill up the belly and then fill up the chest. Good, good. <laughs> Alright, now do it again, but faster. Jeez. Faster air. That, that, that was good, but I want to be able to hear you breathe like... <sighs> yeah, okay. Just faster air, faster. Fill up everything. Yep. That's really good. Oh my gosh. I couldn't do that my first day of brass <laughs> class. I feel like I'm going to pass out. You feel like it? No, I, I know the feeling. Right. That's, in, that's intense. <laughs> it's intense, right? Jeez. Yeah. But it definitely does help because, you know, when you were buzzing your lips and you weren't using enough air? Yeah, it wasn't a lot of air. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're actually going to get you started playing on the mouthpiece. So you know how much air it takes. And... You kind of got the buzz and the lips thing, but I think maybe with the mouthpiece. It might help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So 
What you want to do when you open a French horn, yeah, you, you actually want to um, face it up uh, to where the label's on top. And this instrument doesn't have a label, um, so a first beginner wouldn't really know, so you just kind of have to help them. I know the, the main thing is like the latch is on the bottom and you're like, it clicks up if you know what I mean. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna have you open the case. So there's actually three of those and then one more on the side right here. Perfect. And that's a French horn. Yeah. <laughs> how, how does that look? Heavy, I think <laughs> it's gonna be heavy. It's actually not that heavy. I thought it was going to be heavy too, but it's actually not that heavy. Nice. All right, so um, the only thing we're going to do right now is um, play with the mouthpiece. So the mouthpiece is actually going to be this little piece right here. And I already cleaned it and everything for you. All right, so we're just going to close this up for now. All right, so the goal today isn't for you to like play the instrument. We might be able to though, which which would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, the main goal we have today is just to get you to create any sound, a sound on the mouthpiece, and then play a small tune. All right, so right now, we're just gonna have you try to create any sound on the mouthpiece. So basically, uh, the way you want it on your lips, um, you want it to feel comfortable, and uh, you want this um, to have more top lip. Um, so it's like, you, you. I mean, for me, I put mine on like the center of my lips, but think of this as like a grid, and you just want it to be comfortable in the center, and you want just a little more top lip for this one. Okay. All right, do you want to try it? Just try to make any sound? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, and also you want to hold it on the small part right here on the end. Where? Uh, right here. This is called the oh. shake. Okay. And the reason is if you hold it up there, it actually creates a more resistance and it'll be harder for you to like get a sound. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Like, do I breathe in normally? Yeah. When I'm playing? Breathe in normally, but remember you want to take like a really big full breath. And then when you're buzzing, you you want to buzz your lips and how you okay. and, and how you get that and um, is breathing faster and that's why you want a really big breath so just kind of like breathe in just to get okay. that. Faster air, faster. Oh. There you go, there you go. Okay. I get how it makes the sound now too. Yeah? Like circles. And so how does it feel on your lips? Is yours more on the center, or on the top lip? How does it feel comfortable? I don't really know. I don't think I did it like long <laughs> enough to understand. Go ahead and just place it there. Okay. Alright. Yours is pretty on the center. It's nice. Yeah? And it feels comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like too bad? All right. Well, just keep buzzing. Just try to create a like a sound. How do I do this? Uh, faster, faster. Uh, nice though. It's nice. Do you want to try just buzzing without the mouthpiece, just to? Oh, I like. Sweat. No, no. You're fine. You're fine. That's good. And remember, we're just faster air, faster air. So breathe in more so you can breathe out even faster. Mm. I feel like when I push out more air, it's like harder to keep my lips to stay. I see what you mean. It makes sense. Um, also, another thing with this is you don't want your teeth closed. You actually want to keep your lips and then keep your jaw kind of down like slightly just so the air can actually go between your lips and create the buzzing sound, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. All right, so we're actually going to try it, and I know you created the sound already, so just try to create any sound again, and we're actually going to try to hold it for four counts. Okay. All right, so we're going to breathe in for four, and then you're going to try to okay. keep the sound for four counts. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. All right, ready, set, go. Or good. All right. And another thing you want to do is you actually want to so go ahead and um keep your mouthpiece, and can you kind of open your lips to breathe? Oh no 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 to breathe in like oh. No. 
Yeah. And not really, oh. like, through the mouthpiece, but just kind of keep it close so you're not, like, on four just trying to pick it up, if you know what I mean. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Go ahead and try it again. On your time. I did that all for my <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you got to cut that <laughs> No, you got it. Okay. It's fine. All right. <gasps> all right. Okay. Let's try it again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so we're actually going to try to do that again, and we're actually going to try to swell. And by that, I mean we're going to start, because it seems like you keep playing the same pitch, kind of, right? Yeah. Like, duh, or, duh. So we're actually going to cut, tr try to swell from that. We're going to go down first, so just do that note, and go like, but like, d don't move your head like me, but just kind of, like keep everything neutral and the same, and just try to swell. Okay. And the way you're gonna do that is just by kind of changing the 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 way your um, jaw is. Mm. So it's like I guess. I kind of point my ear more down, I guess. Mm. Like I know that's how I do it for a woodwind instrument, and it kind of helps me with brass. But I guess I really don't know like how to explain that. Okay, do do you want to try it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it. <laughs> I'm trying to like adjust my lips to figure out how to do it. Oh no no no! Don't worry about that. Just play your pitch, and then just try to swell down by I guess. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. You're like you're not trying to play like a next note, but just like Rrr. so it's just gonna be a sound you make basically. Okay. Kind of, kind of. Alright, it it, it sounds good though. Your buzzing is getting better for sure, right? Okay. Alright. No let's try to do it again. Keep your lips a, li a little bit tight on the corners. Just so your buzzing is good right here in the center, mm. and then um, uh, faster. Okay. So breathe in more, and then faster out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it though. You definitely started higher. All right, so now we're gonna try to start at a low pitch, just and then oh, and, and swell up. Are you ready? Wait, 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 but faster air, so breathe in, more through your mouth. <laughs> That's the swell down though. That was good. Alright, now try to swell up for me. Faster air, like faster air to swell up. <laughs> I tried so hard. No problem, no problem. It's funny though because like um, for faster air you actually want more air, so you want to push more out so it can go up instead of so I guess it's kind of like a thing like for so for a swell down you just not slower air but slower than what you had but you don't want it to be too slow because then you can't buzz you know mm -hmm. all right uh, try to do it again and then try to actually aim for a low pitch. Uh, when you start, so you have some place to swell up, if you know what I mean. Okay, yeah. Wait, breathe into your mouth. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I know swelling up is definitely hard, especially because you're, you're definitely new to this. And one thing I noticed, when you actually breathe in, um, when you place it on your mouth, you actually want it uh, in, in the center, but when you breathe, you can actually like take your lips off, I guess like breathe in through the sides and kind of open your mouth like, and then like go through if you want oh, to breathe. Yeah, okay. so you don't actually have to breathe through like the small little piece right here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And just try to tighten your lips a, like a tiny bit more on the sides for me. getting better for sure <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right, so now that you basically have a good buzzing and uh, are kind of familiar with the mouthpiece now, um, I'm kind of thinking of playing a tune. Well, first we're gonna see if you can match a pitch. Are you ready? All right, so I'm gonna play a note on the piano for you, and we're just gonna try to see if you can actually hit that pitch. All right, so I'll go for an easy one. Let's see if you can match that. <laughs> Dang, this is hard. <laughs> and kind of like point it up a, a, a little bit. Yeah, and you don't want like all your lip in there, so don't kind of like um, curve your mouth like. Do you want to like? Because <laughs> I see you, and you and, like it kind of looks like you're trying to like tuck your lips in, like. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you just kind of count keep them as flat as you can. All right. Uh, do you want to hear the pitch again? Yeah. Oh. All right. Now the, the sing the pitch really quick. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Go and try it again. Faster air and then breathe in more. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, do you want to try it for another pitch? Sure. All right, let's try. Mm. Oh. Sing the pitch really quick. La. Louder, louder. La. All right, so what you actually want to do is because it is a higher note than before, faster air. So breathe in more and then try to keep trying to tighten the lips on the side a little. Ready, set. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Um, I'll, I'll try to give you a higher pitch because the song or the tune I'm going to have you try to buzz on the mouthpiece is going to be a uh, twinkle twinkle little star a Mozart melody. So let's try this one. Let's see if you can go this high. Go and sing it really quick. Breathe into the mouth. Tighten it up, tighten it up. Faster, faster air. Alright, go and take it off. We're gonna try it again. Like as tight, but you wanna use faster so your loops can buzz very fast. And that's how you're gonna hit that high note. <laughs> I'm getting so lightheaded. <laughs> Alright. Let so me actually just see what happens if we try to go like. Here, and like a tiny bit of top lip, go. Which way feels better? They both feel like the same. Yeah? Is one easier than the other, maybe? Mm. Go ahead and try it. Just move around, but keep it in the center of the grid line. But just kind of move up, get more top lip. Just try to find your right position. You got a buzz, buzz. Faster. That one sounds good. All right. So what you want to do when you match a pitch is you want to hear it inside your head while you're playing. Um, it's called audiation. And so that, that's why I have you sing it before you play it. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of helps with like matching a pitch and stuff. Um, so we're actually going to try that again. Uh, we're we're going to try with the C, um, and let's see if you can do that. And if you're lower, you just want to kind of fast your air to go up. And if you're um, higher than the actual note, then you, then you just want to kind of reach your weight down, if you know what I mean. All right, let's try it, let's try it. Can you hit this one?
let's just stick to an F. Let's try to do an F. So. So go ahead and I, and I just want you to buzz for me. <laughs> no, it's not buzzing. <laughs> So just kind of push your ear out while keeping your lips as close together as possible. Wait, wait, but breathe into your mouth. I always breathe into my mouth. It's weird. Does it help with kind of tucking in your lip? And so instead of like, like putting in your bottom lip a little. Try to just keep, all right, so put your lips together. All right, go ahead and lick your lips. No, 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 All right, and then breathe in, and then put your lips together just like they were there. All right, let's try it again, and breathe in even more. I, I, I want you to fill up your whole body over here, and posture, posture, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to try with the mouth? Maybe, again? yeah. All right. What did you do to get that first noise? I don't. When when you have a noise, really think about it. Don't just try to like. I guess like move it around your mouth mm. and stuff. Like when you have a noise, like hold it there for for as long as possible. And just think about what you're doing, if if, if you know what I mean. Just ju just to remember that feeling of what you just did. All right, go ahead and try it one more time. Oh. All right, all right. We're gonna take a short break and be right back. Alright, so we took a little break to practice Ashley's buzzing. Um, we actually got her to start on an A. Um, it's like right below the, mi the middle C. And then we got her to go down to a D. Um, we're going to try it again, but Ashley is still like very new at this. And she's never played a single instrument before, like no woodwind, brass, anything. So nothing requiring a mouthpiece at least. Um, so we're going to try that again. Uh, let's try to start at the A. And remember, you don't want to tighten them as much because you're not going to be playing a high pitch, if you know what I mean. All right, let's try it again. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Try to play that high. 
might be, or I don't even know what I'm saying. Me. Me. That's what you're in the thumb. No, so you're fine. You're fine. Try it again. And uh, let me hear your starting pitch of whatever you want to try to start on. My lips are like tired. They are, right? No, I know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, I know your lips are kind of tired and we've been trying a while, so I think I'm just going to try to get you started on the instrument. Not like playing, but just like how to hold it and stuff like that, so. I did hear it a few times, though, whenever you were buzzing. All right, so how we get it from Torno is go ahead and pull the case to you. All right, so it's already open, so just open the top part. And you'll usually probably have a stand in front of you, so I'll take the mouthpiece from you for now. And how you want to get a, a, um, a French horn is you actually don't want to um, kind of hold it on any of these things because those will like break off, you know? You actually want to grab it from the bell or from any of this like thick outside stuff like right here. So go ahead and try to pull it out of the case. Perfect. And what's interesting about the French horn is uh, the bell actually goes on the right side. So just flip it. Yeah. Hmm. 
That's weird. And then uh, another thing is when you play, you would think you hold it like here or something or there, right? You actually put your hand inside the bell. What? Mm -hmm. So kind of form your hand in like a salute sort of thing. And that's how you want to put it in. And you want it to like, you want the weight of the inside to be on this finger right here. So just kind of put it up to it if you're going to play it. And your pinky is actually going to go in this little hoop right here. And it's one, two, and three for the fingers. Mm -hmm. Or two, three, four. How does that feel? Kind of weird. And you don't want to like stick your hand in, but go ahead and make the salute. And then just kind of put the weight on your hand to where when you pick it up, you feel it on this finger. Yeah. Do you feel it? And it's good? All right, so go ahead and put it on your lap and put the mouthpiece in. Do you, do you know where it goes? Yep. All right. Jeez. So this is actually probably way easier than doing the mouthpiece. <laughs> um, this is, uh, go, you're, you're going to play an open note, and this is the note right here. It's, it's easier, right? What the heck? <laughs> Go ahead and try this. So it's going to be lower than where you were. So. Go and try it one more time. And then make sure it's not too in, but enough. And then you want to bring the instrument to you so you don't want to bend over. It <laughs> <laughs> does like that without hitting yourself, Ashley. <laughs> All right. starting place for you. So the first note, uh, that was actually an F on the horn, and that's actually C major. It's too confusing to explain, but that's an F on the horn, and um, now what you're going to want to play, oh no, that's a C on the horn. Yeah, it's a C on the horn. It's really confusing. So now what you're going to want to play is you're going to play um, a note below, and it's actually just going to be this finger right here. So go ahead and put your pinky in, yeah, and then... Can you hold it? Yeah, your thumb is just kind of going to go behind. And it's going to actually go around here. Does that oh, look comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even notice that. All right. Now bring the instrument to you and play the open note. And then you're going to put this down and try to play below that. Ready, set, go. Oh, playing on the mouthpiece first. I think maybe with like a few more lessons, you could definitely hit some more notes mm -hmm. on the mouthpiece. Because um, I think for you, it's even harder than it was with my sister because you've never played an instrument before, you know? So, yeah, do you, do you have any questions? No? Yeah. Good? Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Ashley, for yeah, thank you. letting me teach you French for it and this breathing thing right here. <laughs> All right, well, I hope that was
was good, Dr. Reed. Um, this was my friend Ashley, and I hope you have a great weekend.